Tom Duan owes people a lot of money. That's what several prominent figures in the poker community have to say about Tom Duan, alleging that he owes them significant sums of money that have remained unsettled for years. In this video, we look at the allegations and the aftermath of the incident. High stakes poker pro Peter Jetton initiated the discussion in mid-February by sharing on X, I would advise against engaging in financial transactions with Tom Duan. He has owed me $226,000 for 4 years and consistently employs delaying tactics to evade settling the debt. According to Peter, Duan bought a 50% piece of him in the 2020 Aussie Millions on credit, then never paid him the 226 k in buy-ins he played. Despite Tom Duan's repeated assurances that the payment would be settled soon, Peter grew impatient. Frustrated by delays, Peter eventually threatened Duan, indicating that he would publicly address the issue on Twitter. A couple of days later, Jetton further expressed his concern, stating, I decided to tweet about Tom Duan because I think there is zero chance of him actually paying me if I don't. My view is that he's got such a massive ego that even if he makes 20 million tomorrow, he'll punt it off gambling before he pays. Some empathized and appreciated Jetton providing a warning, but others did not like that he aired his dirty laundry in public and some felt he got what he was asking for. A few weeks later, Jetton returned to Twitter to update that, following his initial tweet, he had received $30,000 of the 226 k owed to him. Duan claimed that he would settle the remaining amount in Jeju, but Peter expressed skepticism and did not believe Duan's assurance. After that, Duan became defensive, asserting that he did not owe Jetton any more money. Jetton concluded by stating, He was always courteous when I granted him additional time, but then when I insisted on a resolution, he completely changed his approach. This revelation also prompted Haralabas Vulgaris to confirm that Duan has owed him $350,000 for more than a decade. As per Vulgaris, he and Duan had a sports beard deal, which means Duan would put bets on for Vulgaris to conceal his identity. They achieved success in the high seven figures and Duan received a 25% share for his role. However, initially, all the winnings were directed to Duan as he was the one executing the bets. Vulgaris asserts that Duan lost the winnings by betting on sports as a beard for another group with the same bookmaker, leading to his inability to fulfill the payment owed to Vulgaris. Haralabus also disclosed that he managed to recover the majority of the owed amount because a third party owed Duan a seven-figure sum and that individual subsequently paid the amount directly to Vulgaris. Duan had initially proposed a payment plan, but after that, he ceased communication and effectively disappeared. Duan acknowledged the accuracy of the situation but expressed frustration over Vulgaris employing a third party to gather some of the funds. This decision put Tom Duan in a difficult position with others he owed money to, leading him to feel reluctant about settling the remaining debt. In both instances, Duan did not outright deny Jetton or Vulgaris' assertions, rather, he objected to the approach they took in reclaiming their money. This also prompted Doug Polk to open his DMs to anyone else Duan might owe money to. Similar to Peter Jetton, Daniel Cates has encountered extreme difficulty in reclaiming the 1 million or more owed by Tom Duan due to the Dirt Challenge. Periodically, every year or two, Cates brings attention to Duan's unfulfilled financial obligations within the poker community, highlighting what he perceives as Duan's problematic alter ego. Last week, however, Jungleman kind of stood up for Tom Duan, stating, I have realized that in fact he does intend on paying back his debts and has worked tirelessly towards that. I think he has made a lot of mistakes but also had some up things happen to him and I think it's important to focus on the most mutually beneficial outcome. The reason behind Jungleman and Tom's sudden cordiality is unclear at the moment. Speculations suggest that perhaps Tom has begun compensating Jungleman, leading to improved relations between them. Following Tom Duan's interview with Poker News, Peter expressed a willingness to arbitrate the matter with a reputable member of the poker community. However, he perceived arbitration as another potential delay tactic 
prompting him to request that Duan escrow the money as a condition for the process. Duan referred to Peter as a clown and expressed his willingness to forgive him and assist him as he asserted that Peter was financially struggling. But that has since changed. Duan asserts that another investor provided Jetton with the funds for the Aussie million buy-in and he preferred to conduct business solely with that individual. This person was never identified. According to Tom, Peter Jetton would never send a full accounting of the 246k Tom owed. Every time Tom asked for it, Peter did not send it, so Tom refused to send money until he got the accounting. Peter also suffered a significant setback in the alternate staking deal resulting in a loss exceeding $1 million of Tom's funds. However, Tom Duan stated that he allowed Jetton to buy out of his owed amounts at a discounted rate. After Jetton made their Aussie Millions debt public, Tom Duan decided to retract the favor he extended during the buyout deal and requested that a portion of the money forgiven in the buyout be subtracted from what Jetton owed him. According to recent updates, Tom repaid Peter's $20,000 six months ago, followed by $30,000 after his initial tweet and then an extra $100,000 just a few days back. This means Tom still owes Peter $96,000. According to Peter's latest tweet, Tom has agreed to put the money in escrow and proceed to arbitration. In response to Haralabas Vulgaris, Tom Duan stated that his account of the story was significantly inaccurate and he was willing to bet on it. In the Poker News interview, Duan claims that he has been settled and squared away for years with Haralabas Vulgaris. Uh, it, it, like we said, this uh, his tweet, he was referencing 350000 from 2010. Look, he tries to make it seem like I owe it to him from bets we did. We we have zero figure that's completely clear. Like there was always this thing on the side that that I was like, we you know we could talk about that, we could whatever, and then he would try to squeeze right, and it like so he knows that he's not telling the truth when he's misrepresenting like that. There was me and him have been square for years and years and years. Also, Duan said that until then he would take a page out of his book and snitched out on Vulgaris saying. How much action did you have on basketball while under contract with the Mavs? I wonder what contract and legal spots that could bring up. Tom was angry that Haralabas threatened to put Tom in legal jeopardy over unrelated matters if he did not pay, which led to Tom posting that tweet. Mad Glance clarified that he had no issues with Tom Duan and felt compelled to emphasize that this specific tweet might lead to consequences that Tom didn't genuinely intend or anticipate. This all unfolded in the wake of a week during which Tom Duan was appointed as the new ambassador of ACR, the unregulated poker room that faced scrutiny for a bot farm scandal earlier in 2024. At the end of the day, I, I believe in ACR kind of their hearts in the right place. Given the extensive preparations required to announce a poker ambassador, it's clear to many that the timing of ACR's announcement wasn't insensitive, but rather that the recent controversy had overshadowed it. However, this situation does not benefit Duan. With the poker community now closely observing his conduct both on and off the table, Duan's performance in the initial 12 months of his professional sponsorship with a burgeoning poker brand will likely decide whether this deal marks the beginning of a new chapter in his career or its conclusion.